What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So we are on our final days of being having the early access of the Diablo 4 season six um, expansion. And I wanted to bring a video talking about the Realm Walker and shout out to the devs, they had their campfire today and it's been an absolute blast to kind of showcase that and um, see the brand new seasonal theme. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through this and give you my thoughts. I know you guys seen a lot of this during the dev stream, but this is the brand new content. So I figure I'd walk you through it and just kind of show you how to do this. So it's kind of interesting. This is the brand new content. So when you come over here to the map, you have the Realm Walker here. It's gonna begin. It is a basically a world event and it's like pretty straightforward. It's a pretty straightforward event as they described in the um, the dev stream. But I'll walk you through it. So you come over here. This Realm Walker is going to spawn. And he's going to summon a bunch of minions, okay? So as you're destroying these minions, it's going to fill up our bar here. And it says, Slay Bloodbound Guardians to uh, damage the Realm Walker. Okay, so we need to fill this gauge up, and we also need to follow the Realm Walker around in order to fill up this bar so we can deal damage to him. As you can see, we can't deal damage to him directly at all because his bar is completely grayed out. So we're going to go through a few phases of this just so you guys can see how it, like, how it works. You're basically going to go through this until you can uh, kill him. So it's a it's a little it's a little different as you're going through here. The bar is going to fill up, and then he's going to summon these bloodbound guardians. So this is where we need to kill all three of these guardians to do some damage. You see his bar start to go down, which is you know it's very straightforward. Like you kill these things, they're spawned on the map. Uh, you knock them out, and even as you're killing the additional ones, oh my god, my. My zoom. You know, you're still going to be able to fill up your bar as you're killing them, which I think is a very good progression tool. So, boom, we dealt even more damage to them. So, it's just a very straightforward thing. And because it's a world event, you're going to be able to do this not only with your entire party, but other players in the world as well. Because the resources are quite unique in this um, when you're doing this actual event. It may seem like it takes a while, but that's because I'm I'm doing it solo right now. So if you're doing this in a team, obviously the faster you kill the monsters, the faster he's going to spawn his three guardians, and then the faster you can do damage to him to get through this event. Uh, now we go into the next phase where we need to destroy all the structures, um, which is going to do the same thing. So we come over here, we're going to destroy all the structures. And that's also going to uh, get us to the next part of this to the realm walker here we destroy all these and we deal damage to him which is cool so now we can deal damage to the realm walker oh and then he killed me that stomp he's very very strong guys very very strong i'm glad i died there for the video let's get back over there so now his his hp is is here so we can actually kill him and once his hp is unlocked so it's two phases of the guardians and then one phase of the pillar and then once you kill him bang all his minions are here right and it opens up this brand new portal okay i'm gonna try to kill this elite because the elite just needs to die oh crap i'm frozen i'm frozen kill this guy okay so it spawns this portal the seething realm so it's a two-part event so now we're going to go into the seething realm which is the the next part and this is where we're going to get all our rewards and stuff for killing this big huge gigantic realm walker which i think is really cool so you're going to come in here and this is it so seething realm travel to the seething wellspring uh zakarum remnants level up return to the crusader so you that's this is part of it you're going to get these zekrim remnants as you're killing monsters but as we're going through here you're going to see that we don't necessarily have to kill every monster in here this just kind of acts like a dungeon or like a nightmare dungeon to a degree 
Um, and we're just going to blast through here. And at the end of this dungeon is where we're going to get all our juicy rewards. I will say that the Rem Walker does not spawn at a specific time. He just kind of roams in different areas. So he's just kind of all over the place, which is kind of like a waiting game. Um, but once he's there, you come through, you come with your party, you do this, you do this awesome event and you knock it out really, really quickly. So then we go to the realm gate. Now, this is the coolest part of it. And it's, this is where you get to pick and choose. So you're going to have three different realm bonuses you can pick from, which is gold equipment or materials. So clearing this realm grants seething opals when consumed, cause additional herbs and crafting items to be crafted, seething opals that give us equipment and seething opals that give us gold. Now. I will showcase these to you because I already have them because I have been doing this. So you get these three different opals and they say for the next 30 minutes, enemies routinely drop additional gold kills, accumulate reputation with the Zakarum remnants and you gain 15% EXP. It's a huge amount of XP and it's amazing, man. So you can stack this with a potion. So you can stack this with the potion, which I think is very cool. And then on top of all of your party bonus XP, it's a lot of XP. So you got gold, you got equipment. Now here's the thing, it's random equipment, I will tell you, it's very random. So it can be anything from blues to legendaries, but it is random, okay? Next, of course, you got your additional herbs and crafting materials. I think this one's probably the best one unless you need gold for whatever reason. I will tell you again, just like last season, it's very, very easy to get gold in season six. So materials or equipment if you're looking for something particular would probably be best um, i think the materials is probably the best one but you get to pick uh one of these three um when you're doing this so in the realm gate you can only pick one okay once you go through it you come back out you can only pick one so you need to pick very wisely okay so you can see the cost here it's one chunk to do gold 25 ovals to do equipment and then five ovals to do materials so you can only pick one. I'm going to pick materials this time. Go through Seething Realm of Materials. Now, here is the cool part in here. You can find goblins. Teleportation goblins, which I think are really cool. And we're going to try. We're. I'm not going to try to get any of the rep. I'm just going to try to get through this just for the sake of the video. You got all of these monsters to kill to get yours, uh, your remnants. You get one per monster, and then you get more per elite that you have which is cool. I see the elite here is going to give us 10 remnants instead of one, but all the little ads only give one. So you can actually rack these up. Now you come down here to the seething war spring or wellspring. Excuse me. There is no boss fight here. I, I do wish that there was a little bit of another boss fight, but I guess the run Walker itself is the boss fight. So then you come here and you have the resplendent chest. Okay. It's going to do a little event here and you have to slay the, um, Four guardians. So I guess in a way, this can be your boss fight or your event. Um, just to add some more remnants, just to add some more aspects to the like dungeon itself. Um, you see these little remnants that spawn. You just got to kill all three. Very easy. There goes a sentinel guardian. We can kill him. Kill all these things. Let's try not to die. The Sentinel Guardians, just kill them. I hate the fire. The fire is the absolute worst part. I hate the fire and everything about it. Boom, we leveled. Once you kill all three, you're all done. Okay? So then you're going to have your Radiant Chest and then your Resplendent Chest. So you got your Radiant Chest here. It's going to give you all of your Opals, Elixirs. It's going to give you some random items that you picked from. So the opals are very important. Elixir, it gives you manuals and a few legendaries, which I think is very cool. And then you got your resplendent chest, which is going to give you a lot of the materials that you picked from um, inside of your choice. And then you can also get runes, which I think is great. And again, a random assortment of items. Now, from the dev stream today, this is probably going to be a little bit buffed, but this is very quick, very easy. Um, very, very, very fast to get through. And then you come over here and you get some more remnants. But yeah, guys, that's the brand new event now. I do think it's really cool. I do think it's a very, a very good event. I think it's an awesome event. And I hope it sticks around for the future of Diablo 4. However, I do wish that we had a different theme. But with 
the you know season six expansion there's so much invested in that uh i think this is really really cool um and one further notice is that when you're doing this it you know if he spawns here in your hell tide all those monster sea spawns will rack up a crazy amount of cinders so if you compare that up that would be a really good time to do the run walker event because you can get a lot of cinders from that so yeah guys that's the event i think it's really cool um so yeah we're gonna be blasting it i think it's gonna be great so like the video guys thank you so much for watching comment down below let me know what you guys think about the run walker event and don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace